I wanted to get into law enforcement in Ireland, but the uh, economy was pretty bad there. So I got into it here, and boy, there's like such a difference. Um, Irish cops, we call them Gardaí, don't carry guns unless you're like special branch. So when I came here and started carrying a gun, I think my mother nearly freaked out because she isn't used to stuff like that. Um, she did visit me and was, you know, pretty worried, but she's seen the uh, kind of people that I work with and the agency that I work for, so she was, she's pretty happy and content with it. Count, how about 640, 48? A 572 citation in Buccaneer. 10 4 third trailer. 139. Half a 4 4. Okay. I'll be out with two white females about the 3800 block of Shawnee. 139. Okay, let's so see what we can put on my lights here. What's going on? Get her off! What? Those boys just beat her up. Who? Oh. Get her These three boys just beat her up. Which ones? They, what kind of car are they? What white are they driving? A Honda. Do you a need. A white Honda. Please go get them. They just Where did they go? They, they went that way. Okay, they could be already gone. You have the tag number, there's a lot of Hondas went around. That way, to the right. They just went that way. Well, I have no idea which way they're no, gone, okay? The car, the last car that Hang on, do you, that sh 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 do you need EMS? Do you want to no, bed? I'm fine, ma'am. Stand I up and let me so see what's the matter fine. with you. Come here. Come on, Amber. Let me see. I don't know. I'm fine, ma'am. I got a couple bumps on my forehead, but I'm okay. on three boxes. Uh, we're going to right. box. Boys, okay, okay let's go. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to have someone come and take a take a look at you, okay? Ma'am, I'm okay. I promise you. Here, stand up then. Let me see if you're all right first, okay? Okay. They just got me in the forehead. I'm okay. Let me ask. No, you need you need to have oh, something. No, ma yes. Ma yes. Ma'am, I'm okay. Ma'am. Half a four four. I can promise you, I'm okay. I bought, I've been boxing Can you for have last EMS to respond to my location? Reference uh, bump to the head. Relax, okay. relax. I'm gonna kill him. Do you have ID on you? Hang on, hang on. Relax, relax. I can promise you, ma'am, sheriff, ma'am. If you don't get him. I will kill them. Do you know who they are? No, ma'am. I have no clue. Okay, do you have ID on you? No, ma'am. Where's your car. shoes? Right over here. Shh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I promise you I don't. Let me see. Let me see. <sighs> ma'am, I promise you I've got, a, I've got a positive ID in my head. Okay. If I see them before you do, I can promise you. I will kill him. For what reason? I promise you, ma'am. Listen to me. Here, I've got a brother here, sit, sit, who is sit, sit. not going to be happy right with this. I, okay, 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 okay ma'am. Okay, I'm fine. I Here's what fine. I need for you to do. Okay, so I can do a report for you. Okay, we're going to have EMS take a look at your head because you've got two nice-sized bumps up there. I'm, I'm okay, ma'am. Uh, I know you're okay, but we're just going to have them take a look at you because okay, they're they're pretty big size. What okay. did they hit you with? They, I have no clue, but were, they were, hit me. Were you out here by yourself? I was by myself out here. I told them to leave because they had a problem with one of my friends. Okay, describe the friends. White males or black males? Oh, uh, they were white. How many? Three? Um, there was two others besides the one I was pushing. So there's three white males? There was three white males all together. Okay, do you have any other injuries anywhere else besides um, the two big bumps? I don't think so, ma'am. No, me have Honestly. Turn it, because you're on honestly, the ground. I don't think so. It's just, on my head, the guys were wailing on me. I was wailing on With me. With their fists? Yes, ma'am. They were yelling on they they were wailing on me to get me to stop them. I, I was not punching them, I was just pushing them, telling okay, them. Okay, don't push me though. Okay, okay. I was, I'm, I'm a, That's okay. I'm using you as an example. Okay. I was pushing them, telling them to go away. What were they wearing? Uh, one of them was wearing a white t-shirt and jeans. I don't know what he had on the white t-shirt, but that's the only one I saw. That was the one I was pushing on, telling him to leave. Telling him, you know, I don't. Why would they just come up to your? Uh, hi, do you, do you know those? This is Porsche. Okay, hi, Porsche. Do you know the the guys that came up to your vehicle? No. What the f happened? Dude, someone came out to our car. Whose car? Ryan, come here. This is this is. This is what they did to us, to her head. Hey, I'm okay. Okay, you're fine. And we have EMS on the way. Don't worry, don't worry. She's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You're fine. No, no, hold on. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, let me ask you a question. Do you guys know them? Did you recognize? We just got here. She was on the ground. Okay. So we need to. He was with. He was with me when we were at the car. Okay. Did you see the white males? No, nobody saw him. Do you still want to make a police report in case you see them again? Ma'am, I can. If even if I did, I could not ID the person. Just no. say yes or no. No, no, no. no. I could not even They're begin to ID some the ice. person. Just don't talk. We're gonna okay. get ice. Okay. Get some ice. They'll check your head. I just make sure you're all right, okay? Because I'm especially okay. with a head I'm wound okay. like that. All right, thank you okay, because it's our responsibility to make sure you're okay. What? I've been out of work for a month and a half because of my head. This, okay. this is all nothing. Right. All right, this okay. is nothing. Okay. Well, just let them have a look at you and make sure that you're okay. Do you have shoes? 
Yes, ma'am, they are in her car. Why didn't you go get her her shoes so she's not walking on this? You want an ice pack? I am fine. I am fine. Completely fine. But, ma'am, okay, I just I want to know. That, but do you want an ice pack? No. You want an ice pack? It's He'll no. give you an ice pack. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Is that the only thing that hurts you? Right now, yes. Anything else that's going to hurt me tomorrow, I have been boxing for four years and I will feel it and I do have medicine to pay, to pay for it. I don't need any anything You else. want no report or nothing? Excuse me? You don't want to report? No, 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 ma'am. Okay. If I do see him, you will be taking me to jail. I will tell no, you no, no. straight if up. If you see them, call us, okay? Let us take them to jail because I'd hate to have you go to jail along with them. Ma'am, okay? ma'am. Do you have a bump on the top of your head? I don't know and I don't really care. But honestly, if I do see them, I'm going to tell you straight up, I've been living in Loxahatchee since I was two years old, okay? There was never any cops out there. I'm going to tell you, we never, we never dealt with cops. And if I do see them, we're going to deal with them the same way I've been dealing with them since I was two years old. Any idea of like that? about the 16th. I'm sorry, yeah. they're going to die. They're going to die. Believe Good night. me. Thank you very All much. All right, take her home, okay? Put some ice in that head. Come on. Kill him. Come on. Oh. Well, I think there's a little more going on here than meets the eye. It's a little too suspicious for my liking. Three guys, I don't know. Something's not right here. It just doesn't seem right. But all I can do is document. She doesn't want to work with us, so... I'll just do a report on it. I uh, worked in construction for uh, about six years and was a reserve with this department for about four years and came to a fork in the road and had to make the decision whether I wanted to work construction for the rest of my life or go out and do what I really like to do. And here I am, working for a good department and having a lot of fun helping people. Okay, we're around to another uh, domestic disturbance. Uh, this is in an area that uh, our county butts up against another county, and we've got two uh, Riverside Sheriff's deputy units en route uh, in front of us. Looks like we're going to the same call. Call came in from a cell phone, so a lot of times we have to get out here and see if it's ours or theirs. Uh, 36097 and we advise them out with Riverside SL units. Well, I've got them advised. What's going on? What's wrong? You just started arguing with me. He took me to the bedroom and started tossing me around. Did he hit you? Yes. You have any marks on you? Yeah. Hit, you, hit you in your face? Yeah. And then I tried to run out. He pulled me by my hand. Okay. He took me again. To the Did you guys see this too? Yes, get him. Please don't take him. Come on, puppy. Hey, man, how's it going? <laughs> Is this him? Hey. Is this him? Come on down here. Come on down here, man. Quit resisting. Stop resisting, man. Okay. Stop resisting. Give me an arm. Okay. Give me an arm, guys. Anything. Relax. Quit resisting. Okay. Relax. Okay. I don't know how to do this. Relax. Relax. Relax, guy. Ready? Come on, man. Give me your arm. Okay. Ready? Up. Ya viste la vez lo que Hey, 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 hey. Shh. Más por nada. Come on down here, guy. Wait, wait. I got my phone. Here. Speak English? No. Ya ves eso es lo que querías ver. 
No le hice nada y, y nomás por cualquier. Okay, okay. Okay, thanks, guy. Hey, I, I, I got a... Uh, three pulse 60. Three pulse 60. Uh, subject became combative. Uh, we're code four now. I need a unit down here with a cage. Has he been drinking tonight? Yes, he has. A lot? Oh, he has had a 12 pack. I want to be around this location. He's at 19608. First name? Laura. What's your uh, middle name? I don't have none. How old are you? 29, 28. Do you want to go inside the house and talk to me now? Yeah. Okay, let's go inside the house. <laughs> <clears throat> What's that? Three ball Thanks, bro. Do you have a phone? I just have a cell phone. What time did this start? What time did he, he drag you into the bedroom? It was around 8, and he wanted us to go to sleep because we were going to go out early. Mm -hmm. I had to go take my sister out, help her go get a car. And he told me, go to sleep now, and I didn't want to go to sleep because the kids wanted to see a sofa, brother, and they wanted to see, so I wanted to stay with them. I went in, and I laid down so we wouldn't have no arguments, and he started complaining and arguing with me. That all I want, that all that was going on was just that I just didn't want to be with him no more, and this and that. And I told him, you know what, just leave me alone. And he told me, well, fine, if you don't want to be here, just leave. And he started pushing me off the bed. And after he pushed me off the bed, I told him, you know what, you just need to leave me alone. He got up, and we just got into an argument, and he pushed me, and he he hit me in the back, and then I, that's when I screamed to him, you know. No llores, hijo. No llores, papá. And then after that, he from crying, he started vomiting. So I started cleaning up and everything, and I went to the kitchen to go get um, go get some water for the for the mop. And he went over there and just got my face like this, and then just completely hit me like that, and he threw me hey, to the you floor. You said he you said he hit you. He got me, and he he just. He went like this and threw me to the floor. He can't beat up on you. I mean, this has this happened before? It happened once before. Once before? And you didn't call? We just separated. I left and we just got our own, I don't know. We, came, we got together again. Well, he's never been in jail for this. So maybe this will wake him up. Okay, he can't push you around, he can't hit you. Okay, he can't put the kids through this, okay? All right. I saw him coming out through the window. I saw him walking through the house. Yeah, and he was saying, uh, let me see your hands, let me see your hands, and the guy just started putting them back kind of towards his uh, his pockets and then turn around and split, so. No. I, we didn't want him going back in the house. Yeah. No. Who knows what's inside the house? I mean, he could have come back with a gun or whatever else. So. Well, the good thing we got him on the porch then. Yeah, got him on the porch. And didn't expect him to fight though. No, but uh, nobody got hurt. She'll sleep better tonight knowing he's gone. Outstanding. Well, right now we're going on a uh, possible family disturbance. There's an individual that is there that is causing problems, uh, apparently dressed in underwear. So got to try to get over there and see if we can figure out what's going on, because I don't really have a lot of details on this. Can you try one of the other channels? And Hello. Hi. I'm Officer Spakes. Is everyone still here? Yeah. Any weapons? No. No weapons? No. Okay, who is who is this that we're dealing with? A 13-year-old that thinks he's so smart that he can cuss me, talk to me like I'm a dog. Yeah. Come on in and close the door. I don't... Because I told him I wasn't going to let him do it anymore. When I got home, get in here. Come here. You got any weapons on you? Huh? No. No? What's, no what? What seems okay. to be the problem here? No, I ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? Keep your hands out of your pocket. Well, come on out of here. I let him let a little boy down the street here 
Mm-hmm. Sit down. That's where I make my mistake. Because I told him I wasn't going to let him do it anymore. When I got home, Mitt, I had to wait on Mitt. And I waited out there at that beauty college, uh, way out on Oak Cleveland Road. So, you know, he, he, to me, he was responsible for him as well as himself. Right. When I came in this house, it looked like a cyclone had hit it. Okay. And I told him to get started to clean it up. And that's all I've had is about bed mouth, bad mouth. And everything else, he called me a bitch. He's called me a fat ass. He's talked to me like I was a dog, and, and I've had and, him. And what's your relationship to him? No. What's your relationship to him? I have a legal consortiumship on him, that's all. No blood kin. I've had him legally ever since he was three months old. His daddy is black. His mother was the prettiest white girl you've ever laid eyes on. Anyway, about two weeks after they moved, she called me, and he was broke out in sores. Would you take him to the doctor, Miss? And I said, yeah. Well, it wasn't sewers. It was bed bug bites, which I haven't heard of bed bug bites since way back in the 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. So I called her and I said, Leslie, don't come after Hassan, because I'm going to dip doctor him until he gets well. Well, in the meantime, his daddy gets picked up on the sales of controlled substance right off of Evans Avenue. It's where his mother lived. Well, one week later, she got picked up for the same thing. He was in the county jail, and then she went up. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they'd yeah. been to prison before. Okay. okay. Well, what would you what would you like me to do today? I'd like for you to just take him in there and whip his ass good and proper. That's well, because that's what he needs. Well, we'll see what we can do. And a 72-year-old one woman can't whip him. And his daddy's lied to him. He's been in his life a year and six months. He don't come around. He's got this station right yeah. You snap them again, and I'm going to backhand you right in front of this officer. And you know what? I won't do a thing about it either. I've told you a thousand times now. But he's okay. in council in MHMR, but God... Every two weeks, anger management. Uh, what kind of grade you got? Good. Well, I, I, hey, Lee, you know something? I'm older than you and I'm bigger than you. And not just because I'm bigger than you, but due to the fact that I'm older than you, I'm considered an elder, I expect you to show me a little bit of respect. You understand that? If I ask you a question, I expect an answer. And the proper thing to tell people is yes, sir, yes, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? Can you come up with any kind of reason to tell me that, that this woman doesn't do you right? Do you get fed? Do you have clothes on your back normally? Yes. All right. She's not left, leaves you, don't leave you sitting out in the cold or nothing like that? No. So can you explain to me a reason why you need to disrespect her like that? No, sir. I can't think of one either. Sounds to me like you need a good old-fashioned behind the woodshed rear end whipping, don't it? If you're going to talk to her that way. You know what the law says about her disciplining you? No. It says she can use any force up to, but not including deadly force, to reasonably discipline you. She can't kill you. No. She can't abuse you. But if she wants to knock the fire out of you when you start bad-mouthing her like that or something like that, it's okay. If you do something to her and cause her injury, then you'd be looking at committing a crime of injury to the elderly. Felony offense, prison-level stuff. And granted, you're a kid, but we still don't take that stuff too lightly. You want to get arrested? No. You want me to cuff you and stuff you in the back of that car and haul you off? No. I wish you luck, man. Okay. I wish, I wish you luck with it. Good luck with it. Okay. Thank you. And let us know if you need anything. And do, do call that number, okay? Okay. Oh, I will. Okay. All the help I can get, I'll do. Do you like her? Yeah. Well, she loves you, or she wouldn't be doing all this. So maybe I'll just need to work it out. You know, why don't, why don't you, uh, 
go over here and apologize to her for doing that and give her a hug. Tell her how you feel about her. You embarrassed? Come on. I gave her a hug and I don't even know her. Sorry. You know my mother loves you. Mm -hmm.